For the first time in history, a spacecraft has attempted to enter the sun's atmosphere. The Parker Solar Probe's achievement will always be remembered because no metal or even the toughest stone on Earth can withstand such extreme heat. This raises the question, why doesn't the Parker Solar Probe melt in such intense heat? How is it still working perfectly, even in temperatures of not just thousands, but millions of degrees? Welcome once again to Netwatch Daily's video. Space exploration has long fascinated humanity, but no mission has been as daring or ambitious as the Parker Solar Probe. Launched by NASA in 2018, this spacecraft is on a revolutionary mission to touch the sun. For decades, scientists have sought to better understand the sun's behavior, particularly its atmosphere, known as the corona, which can reach temperatures of millions of degrees Fahrenheit. Yet sending a spacecraft so close to such an intense environment seemed like an impossible dream. But Parker's solar probe, named after the solar astrophysicist Eugene Parker, has changed that. Designed to fly closer to the sun than any other spacecraft before it, the Parker Solar Probe is unlocking the secrets of the sun's outer layers and helping us understand the mechanics of solar wind and magnetic fields that affect space weather. This mission is not only a technical marvel, but also a scientific leap forward in understanding our star. The sun's atmosphere, an unimaginable challenge. Before diving into the Parker Solar Probe's engineering, it's crucial to understand the environment it is venturing into. The sun is not just a glowing ball of light, it is a complex, dynamic, and incredibly hostile environment. The sun's atmosphere is divided into three main layers, the photosphere, chromosphere, and the corona. Photosphere, the surface of the sun that we see from Earth, with temperatures reaching approximately 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Chromosphere, a layer just above the photosphere, where temperatures rise significantly. Corona, the outermost layer of the sun, which is surprisingly the hottest, with temperatures soaring into the millions of degrees. The corona extends millions of kilometers into space and is where the most extreme solar activity, such as solar flares and coronal mass ejections, occurs. One of the greatest mysteries of solar physics is why the corona is hotter than the sun's surface. It's counterintuitive. You would expect the heat to decrease as you move farther away from the core. This phenomenon, known as the coronal heating problem, is one of the many puzzles the Parker Solar Probe is designed to help solve. But the biggest question for most of us remains, how can a spacecraft survive in such conditions without melting? To answer this, we need to take a closer look at the cutting-edge technologies employed in the probe's design. At the heart of the Parker Solar Probe's ability to withstand extreme heat is its Thermal Protection System TPS, a revolutionary shield made of advanced carbon composite material. The TPS is an 8-foot diameter heat shield that stands between the sun and the sensitive instruments on the spacecraft. Despite being exposed to temperatures as high as 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,377 degrees Celsius, on its outer surface, the TPS ensures that the spacecraft's internal systems remain at a relatively cool 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. This heat shield is only 4.5 inches thick, yet it plays a vital role in the spacecraft's survival. It is made from a carbon-carbon composite material sandwiched between two layers of carbon foam. These materials are incredibly lightweight and have remarkable thermal resistance properties. The shield reflects much of the sun's heat away from the probe while dissipating the absorbed heat effectively. The question on everyone's mind is, of course, how the Parker Solar Probe manages to survive such extreme conditions. The key lies in the spacecraft's revolutionary design, which took years of research and development as we mentioned earlier, the Thermal Protection System, TPS, is one of the most critical components. The TPS works not only by reflecting much of the sun's intense heat, but also by carefully dissipating the heat that does manage to reach the shield. The material used for this shield, a carbon-carbon composite, 
is both incredibly heat resistant and lightweight. Carbon is chosen because it doesn't easily break down at high temperatures and is capable of withstanding the sun's ultraviolet radiation and intense heat over a prolonged period of time. In addition to heat protection, the Parker Solar Probe is equipped with specialized software that allows it to autonomously adjust its orientation and position to ensure that the heat shield is always facing the sun. This is crucial because even a slight misalignment could expose the delicate instruments to the sun's direct radiation, which could be catastrophic for the mission. The spacecraft can make small adjustments in real time to maintain its protective positioning, all without human intervention. Surviving the solar winds and radiation. Apart from the immense heat, another significant challenge the Parker Solar Probe faces is solar radiation and solar winds. Solar winds are streams of charged particles, mostly electrons and protons, that are ejected from the sun's corona at extremely high speeds. These winds, while invisible to us, can cause serious damage to spacecraft and electronics. Solar radiation, particularly the high-energy particles known as solar energetic particles SEPs, can interfere with or even destroy delicate instruments on board. These particles are a byproduct of solar activity like solar flares or coronal mass ejections CMES, which release bursts of energy and charge particles into space. To counteract this, the Parker Solar Probe systems have been hardened against radiation. The probe is equipped with radiation-hardened electronics that can withstand high levels of radiation without malfunctioning. Additionally, the heat shield also serves as a protective barrier against solar particles, deflecting many of them away from the spacecraft. One of the most crucial parts of the mission is understanding how the sun's magnetic field shapes the behavior of solar winds. The Parker Solar Probe carries a series of instruments designed to measure the properties of these winds, including their speed, temperature, and density. This data will help scientists better understand the dynamics of solar wind and its impact on space weather, which can affect satellite communications, GPS systems, and even power grids on Earth. Scientific Discoveries Made by the Parker Solar Probe The Parker Solar Probe is more than just a feat of engineering. It's a scientific treasure trove that is already delivering groundbreaking discoveries. Since its launch, the probe has provided scientists with invaluable data about the sun's corona, solar winds, and magnetic fields. One of the most exciting findings is the direct observation of switchbacks in the solar wind. These are sudden and unexpected reversals in the magnetic field direction, and they had long puzzled scientists. The Parker Solar Probe has shown that these switchbacks are more common than previously thought and may play a crucial role in accelerating the solar wind. This finding could revolutionize our understanding of how the sun influences space weather. Another key discovery involves the temperature of the sun's corona. Before the Parker Solar Probe, scientists had only indirect measurements of the corona's temperature. Now for the first time, the probe has collected direct measurements, providing new insights into why the corona is so much hotter than the sun's surface. The probe has also made significant strides in understanding the origin of solar winds. By flying closer to the sun than any previous spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe is able to directly sample the material in the corona, giving scientists unprecedented data about the origins of these powerful winds. This data is helping to answer fundamental questions about the sun's behavior and how it affects the rest of the solar system. The future of solar exploration. As of now, the Parker Solar Probe has completed several close passes of the Sun, each one bringing it closer to the star's surface. With each orbit, the spacecraft gathers more data, helping scientists unlock the mysteries of the Sun's corona and the mechanisms that drive solar winds. In the coming years, the Parker Solar Probe will continue to venture even closer to the Sun, eventually coming within 4 million miles of its surface. 
This is more than seven times closer than any other spacecraft has ever traveled. With each pass, scientists hope to gain a deeper understanding of how the sun works and how its activity affects space weather. The Parker Solar Probe is not the only spacecraft exploring the sun. NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, are collaborating on another mission, the Solar Orbiter, which will provide complementary data from a different vantage point. Together, these missions will revolutionize our understanding of the sun and its influence on the solar system.